She says bye. Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. So this week we're doing a video that one of you guys asked me to do last week, the week before last. I don't really remember, but I thought it was a really good idea. So here we are. We're gonna talk all about some of the most common mistakes that new bearded dragon owners make when they get their bearded dragons. These are mistakes that I see very often in my inbox or just, or mistakes that, where are my eyes watering? What is happening? These are mistakes that I see very often in my inbox or even mistakes that I personally have made. So I thought that I'd make a video about it to keep you guys from making some of those same mistakes. Ah, oh, there's something wrong. This video is sponsored by iHeartGecko, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this awesome company. Let's get started. So the first one and a very important one is people getting bearded dragons and not trying to help them to eat their salads. And they're only going to want to eat bugs and nothing else when they're adults. And this could cause lots of issues for an adult bearded dragon. Many baby bearded dragons don't like salads and it can be a little bit difficult to actually get them to eat those salads. Very quickly, a couple things you can do. Always give them that salad first. I suggest giving it to them first thing in the morning before you give bugs. Try different vegetables. Some bearded dragons just don't like some vegetables. Zaz is scared of most fruits except for strawberries and sometimes grapes. Everything else she's scared of and she has actually flailed her beard out and turned black at fruits. Some bearded dragons don't like certain things. Try a bunch of different vegetables. Don't just throw a bunch of green veggies into a bowl. Put colorful fruits or colorful vegetables, different things in the salad to make it more exciting to them. If your bearded dragon likes fruit, which most of them prefer fruit over veggies, we just don't want to give a super lot of fruit because they're high in sugars. You can take a hundred percent all natural fruit juice and just drip some on top and sometimes that helps. Just try lots of different stuff in order to get your bearded dragon to eat that salad. Help make their transition into more salads easier. The next huge mistake, this one is mainly for baby bearded dragons and that is getting your feeder insects from Petco, PetSmart, places like that. The issue with getting your feeders from there is that you're gonna spend a lot more money that way. Baby bearded dragons, as I've said in other videos, can eat upwards to 80 to 100 crickets a day. Every single time I say that, I always have people saying, mine didn't eat that much, that's okay. All bearded dragons are different, but they could potentially eat that much a day. That's a lot of money if you're going to buy feeders from places like Petco, PetSmart. That is where I started buying feeders and then I learned about places like Josh's Frogs who will ship giant bulk orders of crickets to you. Animal Tracks, my local pet store in Madison, I don't know if they still do it, but in the past you were able to buy bulk orders of crickets from them. Buying from local pet stores as opposed to chain pet stores or buying online, you're gonna save a lot more money in the long run. So really quick, just to actually demonstrate to you how much money we're talking here. We're gonna use crickets just because most people that buy feeders from Petco, PetSmart, places like that, they're buying crickets even though it's not my favorite feeder, but it is one that a lot of people are going to be using. So we're going to Josh's Frogs. We're gonna to go to Live Insects and Feeders. Just gonna really quick do this math for you really quick. Josh's Frogs, we're gonna to go to the Crickets. We're gonna look at large crickets because I know those are 12, 13 cent a cricket at Petco PetSmart. The large crickets from Josh's Frogs, you can get 1000 for $19. Okay, so the cheapest shipping option is $13.57. So we're going to add that 34 total for a thousand crickets divided by 1000 still comes out to 0.3 cent a cricket as opposed to 12, 13 cent per cricket at places like Petco PetSmart. Even with Petco and PetSmart's buy in bulk discounts, it only goes down to about nine, 10 cent a cricket. This is less than one penny a cricket. So if you are feeding a very hungry baby bearded dragon or multiple animals, buy feeders online because it's going to save you so much money, even with the shipping. Next up is getting all of your information from one source. It is super flattering when some of you tell me that you get your inf all of your information from me, but don't let me be your only source of information. Lots of people keep bearded dragons and lots of people have been keeping bearded dragons for a lot longer than I have. The thing that I always talk about with bearded dragons is caring for them is going to come from a lot of personal experience in what your bearded dragon personally likes and what works best for you and your bearded dragon. So get those other experiences and opinions and facts from a lot of different people in order to lay the best foundation for you to start with your bearded dragon and 
for you to know what you're getting into. Examples, I have personally never rescued a bearded dragon. So if you're getting a rescue bearded dragon, I'm not gonna be the best source of information for that rescue bearded dragon because I don't have personal experience with that. Another example, I am not a veterinarian. So I can't give you medical advice for your bearded dragon if your bearded dragon gets sick. It's very important that you use so many different sources, YouTube videos, reading articles, whichever way that you learn best, do a lot of those things and figure out the best way for you to personally care for your bearded dragon based on a lot of different people. This next one is a huge one that comes up a lot in my inbox and that is not having a vet picked out. It's very understandable that this happens. You want a bearded dragon, you're super excited about it, and you don't think that your bearded dragon's ever gonna get sick, or that thought might not even cross your mind. The fact that these little critters can get sick might not even occur to you, and so you don't look for a vet. And then a lot of bearded dragons get sick, especially parasites, that's the biggest one. But not having some sort of plan for if your bearded dragon gets sick is a huge issue. So when I first got my bearded dragon, I did not realize that my bearded dragon would eventually have to go to the vet. So I was also guilty of this very same thing. Luckily, there was a reptile vet that was about 30 minutes from my house, but they weren't very good. And after a lot of searching, a lot of money wasted on a vet that never even treated her correctly, I did find a really good vet. If I had done all of that in advance and I had done all the research on the vets in advance, I would have had a good vet to begin with and it would have saved me a lot of money and a lot of weeks of her being stressed out and probably even saved her whole egg bound issue that happened because of all the issues with the other vet. All that probably would have been saved. And it's very important that you know where you can take your bearded dragon to the vet just in case. Starting out with too small of a tank. In pet stores and things, when you get a bearded dragon, a lot of times they'll tell you that a baby, a tiny little baby bearded dragon can be started out in something like a 10 gallon or even starting them in a 20 gallon, a lot of people will do. Just know that baby bearded dragons grow really, really fast. I'm not saying that you can't start baby bearded dragons out in a 20 gallon long, you 100% can. Just understand that they're gonna grow very quickly. Just try your best not to get in a situation where your lizard is outgrowing its tank and you realize that you don't have room for the proper size tank or your bearded dragon or you don't have enough money to get that tank because you didn't know it was going to happen as quickly as it is happening. My biggest advice here is if possible go ahead and start your bearded dragon in a very large tank. Start them in their adult size tank. Bearded dragons are usually really good with being able to start in their adult size tank without any issues. They will run around and use the space and climb and all that stuff. If you can just start them in that tank. It's going to save you money on tank upgrades. It's going to save you money on redoing an entire tank with decor. It's going to save you stress from where you're going to put this tank in the long run. Just start them off in that bigger tank if you possibly can. And the last one is cats. And I'm not saying that cats are a mistake in themselves, but not preparing properly for having a cat and having a bearded dragon could be a problem. I personally rescued one of my leopard geckos from my home where the lady's cat ate her other two leopard geckos and mine just happened to survive after she saw her brother and sister or whatever they were get eaten. Super dark. It happens. Cats are naturally predators and, and they naturally want to gobble up little prey like lizards and birds and things. Just have a plan in place for your cat to keep your bearded dragon safe. A lot of times, especially in those reacting videos that we do to you guys' tank, I see people put the plastic spikes on top of the tank that just keep the cat from jumping up there. Those are fantastic. Those are absolutely wonderful. Some people have rooms for their cats or rooms just for the animals that their cats are not allowed to go in. All of these options are fantastic. Just have some sort of option there. So unfortunately, most likely your cat and your bearded dragon are not gonna be able to be friends. They're not gonna be able to hang out. Please take those precautions and keep your baby bearded dragon, your bearded dragon away from its predators. But that's all that I have for this week's video. Hopefully it could prevent you from possibly making a mistake. Let 
me know down in the comments below what other beginner mistakes should beginners be very much aware of to try to prevent because it could help somebody out. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. iHeartGeckos is such a fantastic company. They are wonderful to work with. I've worked with this company since before they sponsored me. They are absolutely fantastic and their products are amazing. They make conversion kits for tanks, old tanks that you may have laying around or a tank that you may have just gotten. You simply put the conversion kit into the tank using a little bit of silicone, which literally takes 10 minutes. You let that dry for a couple days and then you permanently have a front opening tank for your arboreal animal. These kits are super awesome and super easy. They allow you to have really nice appropriately sized tanks for those arboreal animals for a very low price, especially when compared to other brands, big brands that you would get at a pet store. Make sure that if you do order from iHeartGeckos.com, you put Els Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box so that way they know that you guys are coming from here. Thank you so much to iHeartGeckos for continuing to support these videos. As always, if you have not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday and some Wednesdays. This week's Instagram shout out is for Dungeons and Critters for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out is for Alana Vasquez for commenting on last week's video and literally asking me to give her a shout out. So here you go. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. So if you have a baby beard dragon that does not like salads. So if you have a baby beard dragon that does not like salads. So huh. this video. Actually, that's very loud. Zaz is scared of most fruits. Zach. Figure out the best information to care for your bearded dragon that you possibly can. That sentence doesn't make any sense. Sometimes so that helps. So rude. Questions are when you go into getting a reptile. And as always, if you have not already, please feel free to. Nope. Yeah. Zaz says bye.